Learn Inc. for engineering courses. Softening methods of hard water. In this video, we are going to learn about softening methods of hard water, which is a part of water and its treatment under engineering chemistry. Introduction Water is the most important component that is needed for the survival of life on Earth. Water is present in the oceans, rivers, ponds, lakes, glaciers, etc. Types of Water Soft water and hard water. Soft water. The water which forms lather easily with soap is called soft water. Hard water. The water which does not form lather easily with soap but and forms a white curdy precipitate is called hard water. If soap is added to hard water, a curdy white precipitate is formed. This is due to the formation of calcium or magnesium present in soap. If soap is added to soft water, it is dissolved and lather is formed because the soap is the sodium or potassium salts of higher fatty acids like stearic acid, palmitic acid and oleic acid. Hardness of water The hardness of water is due to the presence of soluble bicarbonates, chlorides and sulfates of calcium and magnesium. Water which does not give lather with soap is hard water. Types of hardness of water Temporary hardness or carbonate hardness Permanent hardness or non-carbonate hardness temporary hardness or carbonate hardness. The presence of magnesium and calcium bicarbonates in water makes it temporarily hard. In this case, the hardness in water can be removed by boiling the water. Boiling the water is enough to remove the temporary hardness and turn it into soft water. When we boil water, the soluble salts of magnesium and calcium converted to which is insoluble and hence gets precipitated and is removed. After filtration, the water we get is soft water. Permanent hardness or non-carbonate hardness When the soluble salts of magnesium and calcium are present in the form of chlorides and sulfides in water. We call it permanent hardness because this hardness cannot be removed by boiling. It is removed by special methods like ion exchange process, permutate process, etc. The water which is fed into the boiler is known as boiler feed water. These days, modern boilers require high-quality water to operate efficiently, but such water can never be obtained from any of natural resources as it contains certain impurities. The presence of impurities in water makes it too unfit for use in the boiler. So, to take water to fit for use in the boiler, it should be pre-treated using various techniques. Thus, we can see the boiler feed water is the specially conditioned water which is fed into the boiler to generate steam or hot water. Let us know about specification of boiler feed water. Water hardness should be below 2 parts per million. Its caustic alkalinity should be between 0 0.15 and 0 0.45 parts per million. Its soda alkalinity should be between 0 0.45 and 1 parts per million. It should be free from turbidity and sediments and it should be free from organic matter, oil, grease, 
to avoid forming. Treatment of boiler feed water The treatment of boiler feed water may broadly divided into two categories. External treatment Internal treatment In this video, let us see about external treatment of boiler feed water. External treatment it involves the removal of hardness producing salts from the water before feeding into the boiler. The external treatment can be done by the following methods. Lime soda process that is precipitation method. Demineralization or ion exchange process zeolite or permutate process lime soda process functions of lime limes removes the reactions involved are as follows removal of temporary calcium and magnesium hardness removal of permanent magnesium hardness Removal of dissolved iron and aluminum salts. Removal of dissolved CO2 and H2S. Removal of free mineral acid. Functions of soda. The permanent calcium hardness thus introduced on account of the treatment of water with lime and the permanent calcium hardness already present in water before lime treatment are removed by soda. Cold lime soda process, motor, stirrer, stirrer paddles, valve, raw water, chemicals that is soda plus lime plus coagulant. The mixture of water, calculated quantities of lime soda and a small amount of coagulant is fed from the top into the inner chamber of a vertical circular tank. A vertical rotating shaft carrying a number of paddles to ensure vigorous stirring and continuous mixing of water with the chemical added. Sludge formation. The chemical reactions take place and the hardness producing salts get converted into insoluble precipitates which accumulate in the form of a heavy sludge. The softened water reaches the outer coaxial chamber. It rises upwards and is filtered by a wood fiber filter. Finally, taken out, the softened water at the top of the outer cylinder. Heavy Sludge Outlet Hot Lime Soda Process Raw water is fed from the top into the reaction tank where it is thoroughly mixed with calculated quantities of softening chemicals and is agitated with superheated steam. The softened water containing sludge then enters into the sedimentation vessel where the sludge settles down. The softened water is then taken to a sand filter which ensures the complete removal of sludge from softened water. The softened water is obtained from this process contains a residual hardness of 15 to 30 ppm. Ion exchange process Tank 1 Tank 2 The hard water contains Ca, Mg, SO4 and HCO3 salts are passed through first tank which contains a bed of cation exchange resin that is RCOOH. Hydrochloric acid is introduced into tank 
to remove calcium and magnesium salts which attached with chloride ions. Cation exchange resin that is RCOOH. Thus, hardness producing Ca2 plus and Mg2 plus ions are removed by exchanging with H plus ions of the resin. After passes through a bed of cation exchange resin, hard water which contains only sulfate, bicarbonates and chlorine salts will move on to second tank. Second tank contains a bed of anion exchange resin that is ROH is filled with caustic soda that is NaOH which reacts with sulfate, bicarbonates and chlorine salts. The Cl- SO42- and HCO-3 ions are exchanged with OH- ions of the resin. Thus, hardness producing H+, Cl- SO42- and HCO-3 ions are removed. The H+, ions produced in first tank combined with OH- ions produced in second tank to form water. Eventually, this process removes all types of hardness producing cations and anions present in water. The resulting water is known as demineralized or deionized water. Zeolite process Zeolite is hydrated sodium aluminium orthosilicate capable of exchanging reversely its sodium ion to the hardness producing ions in water. Hard water The hard water is passed through the zeolite bed at specified rate. Hardness causing ions Resin the hardness causing ions such as Ca2+, Mg2+, are retained by the zeolite bed as CaZ and MgZ respectively, while the outgoing water contains sodium salts. Soft Water Outlet Regeneration process Adding NaCl After the softening process, the zeolite is completely converted into calcium and magnesium zeolites and it gets exhausted. Resin absorbs the Na plus and remove all the Ca2 plus and Mg2 plus ions. For more engineering chemistry videos, subscribe Learn Ing YouTube channel and follow us on all social medias.